supposed to be one of the prettiest beaches in Cala de Or. So I'm really excited to check it out. If someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than Buenos dias guys from Calador, España, which is a beach town here on the east coast of Mallorca. And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mac. And I'm Chelsea, and we are full-time travelers making travel content all over the world for you guys. And today, we are going to show you our favorite things to do here in Calador. So let's head over to the first spot. Alright guys, so we just got to Cala de Parera, which is our first of a few beaches that we're going to show you in this video. When you get to the beach, you go down some stairs and you pass by a shop, a restaurant, so you have your options if you want to get some snacks or some drinks, and then you get onto the beach and they actually have chairs and umbrellas that you can rent. Um, and then there's also space on the beach, but it is pretty limited. So if you want a spot, you got to get here early because it's definitely a popular beach and pretty small, so it gets pretty crowded. You can see behind me, it's actually not that crowded right now, but we're here at the end of the season, the end of October. This place actually shuts down on October 31st. So if you come in the middle of the summer, it will probably be a little more crowded. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But also at the end of the season here at the end of October, it's definitely a little chillier. So that's something to keep in mind as well. All right, so we'll see you in our next spot. So we're on our way to the next spot in Calador. And one of my favorite things about this place is you can basically walk to any of the different attractions around the city in about 10 minutes or maybe more for some of the ones that are slightly further away, but it's a very walkable beach down here. All right, guys, so now we're at Playa Cala Esmeralda, which is supposed to be one of the prettiest beaches in Cala de Or. So I'm really excited to check it out. All right guys, heading over now to the cliffs that look over Playa Esmeralda. I actually went here last night to see what it looked like from the sunset and it was really, really beautiful. So I wanted to come back here during the day and show you guys kind of what it looks like. One from the drone and then two just kind of walking around on the cliffs because it's a really, really beautiful lookout point. But I will say be very careful on these cliffs because it's a big drop down into very, very crazy waters down there. Like if you go down there, I don't know if you're coming back up. The currents are strong. Up here on the super rocky cliffs now, sorry if it's a bit shaky, I'm kind of walking from rock to rock here, as safely as possible. Getting right up to the edge here so you can see what these roaring waves look like right now. You can probably hear them in the background. All right guys, let's go ahead and see what this place looks like from the drone. All right guys, as you can probably get an idea now from seeing that drone footage, these waves are insane out here. It's so cool though. Like I said, I was here at sunset last night and I had to come back one more time, not just for the footage, just to see how beautiful this spot was. So definitely come hang out at this spot if you're here in Calador because you will thoroughly enjoy it. So guys, while we're walking to the next spot, a little bit more about Calag. It is a town of about 3,800 people. And I will say it does not feel like a town of about 3,800 people because my grandma is from a town of 1,000 people and this place feels much, much more urban than that. And so you're probably, you know, guessing if you know Calador anyways, it's a big beach town, right? So it attracts a lot of tourists, they have a lot of hotels, Airbnbs, all different amounts of accommodations to be able to take in a large amount of tourists 
for only a certain part of the year. So there's about 3,800 people that stay here year round. And I have another video talking about when is the best time to visit Calador. When is it the most touristy? When is it really hot? When is it really cold and rainy? And I'll link that in the description below if you wanna go ahead and check that video out as well. So anyways though, yeah, Calador is a really common beach town for British, German, and mainland Spanish people to come and visit and have a nice vacation here. This is more of a beach town that is quite well known rather than let's say maybe a secluded, not as well known spot. But I mean, with that, you have your pros and cons to both sides. I think a lot of the people that are looking up this video know that with a really nice beach town like this that's well known, you get a lot of great restaurants around here. You have things for the whole family to do. And then, yeah, if you wanna go out for a couple beers, it's not any sort of wild nightlife, but you can at least go and have a nice time in the evening with an array of different restaurants that you can check out within this small little beach town. But we'll see you guys here at the next place, which is Cala Gran, the next beach we wanna show you guys. So the next spot we're at here is the Cala Gran Beach, which is one of the beaches that's closest to the city center. So you really have that convenience if you're staying downtown. It is one of the smaller beaches. However, I wouldn't say it feels as small as, for example, Cala Ferrara, the first one we showed you, because the beach extends so much further back towards the city that you have more laying out room. But the actual width of the beach is actually quite small. And especially during the high season, right now it's you know mid-October and the beach is still pretty crowded. But I can imagine in the middle of the summer when this place is filled with tourists, so definitely get here early enough so you can get a spot really close to the water. The good news is you don't have to go too far if you want to get a snack or something to drink because they have beach bars right along the uh, water here so you have options. Currently sitting at one of the lookout points which is sitting about 10 feet above the water here and so it's uh, it's definitely like a nice spot to just come and hang out and you know get a nice swim in. You can swim out pretty far. I see people swimming at least maybe 100 feet, 200 feet from the beach. So these people that have these massive houses right here on the water, they are beautiful. Look at these from the drone. They have in-ground pools looking over this beach. That is not bad. I'm not entirely sure if those are like rental homes or what they are, but they sure do look nice. Anyways though, guys, definitely check out this beach while you're down here. So guys, those first three places we showed you were beaches and the next two places we're gonna show you are something else. It is pretty funny to be walking through this town though and like all of the restaurants and everything has like nobody there. So it feels kind of like a ghost town because like I've said a few times already, this season ends in like five days. So a lot of restaurants are even already closing down because there just simply isn't much business left at this point. Almost to the next spot here, which is gonna be the marina and it's about half of a mile walking distance from the Cala Grande Beach. So it's not too far, a nice little stroll, especially today with a nice breeze. So guys, the next spot to check out here in Calador is the marina, and it is a really cool spot for a couple different reasons. If you're looking to grab a bite to eat, there's a bunch of different restaurants on this kind of like boomerang shaped uh, harbor or marina. And so there's so many options, and who doesn't like looking at all of these different boats while you're kind of just strolling around? Cool spot, definitely check it out. And also just one more thing to mention here, if you wanna rent a boat while you're down here in Calador, come down to the marina because they have quite a few different advertisements around here to grab one for the day. And there's also boat tours as well that I saw. So if you don't wanna get your own boat, you have that option too. So guys, unfortunately, I won't be able to actually show you the fifth thing to do. I was worried this was going to happen because we had seven days here and only a couple of them had sunshine but the fifth thing is the glass bottom boat. So the glass bottom boat will bring you to a few different destinations depending on where you wanna go. It's 25 euros for adults and 14 euros for kids. And it's really a nice thing to do because it's quite affordable, I'd say, especially if you're coming with a family, for example. And you can go ahead and see different areas along the east coast of Mallorca. Some of the other beach towns are some of the options. And then while you're cruising from spot to spot, you can see the fish swimming under the boat, which is quite cool. Uh, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it for Calador. There are other things to do around here. I think there's like five main beaches to go to. We just went to the three that we thought were, you know, the most exciting, the best looking, and you know, all the other qualities that makes the beach the best beach. But um, other than that though, uh, if you have more time and more sunny days than we did, there are other places outside of Calador where you can take day trips. And so uh, definitely check some of those out because it might be something fun to do if you wanna get out of Calador for a couple days. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. My girlfriend Chelsea and I are gonna be traveling all around the world for an undetermined amount of time. And we'll be bringing you a bunch more videos like these where we wanna give you the tips on things to do, 
good travel deals and you know best times to visit different locations and a whole bunch of other travel content that we think can help you with your upcoming trips so definitely hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video